Hi friend, I hope you're doing super well. Um, so over the last few times, not necessarily weeks, but months, we've been talking about um, the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. And today we're in the last book um, called Deuteronomy. In the last book, Deuteronomy, um, it's kind of a little bit like a best of um, where Moses addresses the people again and tells them about all the things that were happening. Um, he reminds them of the things that were happening and just challenges them like to really think about the past, think about like what God was doing. He even challenges them at very early stages that it's very important that they give that information to their children and grandchildren. Um, so very important to tell their children and grandchildren what God did in this time. Um, so he really, really challenges them. And then there's a lot of stories again about like the things that happened, where people went in their lives and how people walked with God or they didn't and how the responses were. And then he also touches a lot again on the law, like how um, to live different, like to be set apart as a nation, like not to be the same as the nations around them. Like we talked a little bit about in Leviticus, how God gave like all the laws to the Levitical priests so they would be able to live different. So they would have like a different foundation and different view on life than um, the nations around them had because the thinkings were very different. And in this last book, like uh, Moses challenges them like to really think different and live different and follow the law that God has given them. And there were quite a few things that he gave them again like it's um, a lot of little details so when you read through there's like laws on food laws on um, relationships with each other and many many other things like he really gives them again like a really good rundown on what to do and what not to do so um, I guess it's easier for people to really follow something if you never had a clue like I'm sure they had a conscience at the time too like we have today but I think there were things where they were just not aware or they were confused like still from Egypt like um, we said before and then during the book like again like tons of stories but then at the end um, it's very interesting to me because it seems like Moses speaks identity into all the tribes he starts speaking a blessing over each tribe that's there um, and each tribe gets kind of like a different blessings and identity and I think there's a real key to that like to speak identity into people, speak who they are and share with them who they are um, so they can actually step into that calling and step into who they are. So Moses really brings a big challenge there and just just loves on the people. And then of course, like um, as we all know, like Moses didn't actually make it um, into the promised land because he disobeyed God as well and he ends up like um, dying as well like on the mountain so at the end of the time at the end of the book um, it ends with Moses dying going up on the mountain and he passes but he also um, trains Joshua beforehand he trains him in like how to lead the people um, which then the next book will be but it's very interesting like reading those five books and reading kind of like where they came from and where they're going as Israelites but then also how God laid a foundation in their lives and give them, you know, rules and laws, like how to live by, how to live as a society and how he guided them, like to really step into that. Like it's, it's really incredible, like to look at all those different things that God was doing with the Israelites and how he set up a new society, like really, like a new, he gave them a new land. He put them together as people in a different way and like he changed so many things so it's very cool like to to look at that and see the change of it like I I really love it so um, the progression between the books is pretty awesome like hearing like in Genesis like to look back the story of like how everything started how the year started and um, and then going into Exodus and hearing about the people like how God chose the Israelites and how, you know, he did under Abraham already, but like how they kind of fled Egypt and then um, seeing in Leviticus, like how God really 
um, gave them laws and how he put people in charge that could guide them and give them like example how to live. And then going to the next book, um, Numbers, where he talks all the details, who was with the witch, uh, witch tribe and who was connected and whatever, like all that background and then many stories. And then it ends like with the best of Deuteronomy, which um, Moses reminds them of all of that. So I want to encourage you like um, to read through Deuteronomy um, and if you got time, um, read through the other books as well, like in context. Of course, like you can't do that in a day because um, each of those books is three to four hours long, um, so it's quite a bit. But take the time and study through them, it's worth it. All right, have a blessed week, and I'm going to give you a little quick view of Telegraph Hill. Like, look how beautiful this is with the flowers and then the castle all the way on the top. What a beautiful place. All right, have a wonderful day. And God, I just want to pray blessings over every person that's watching this. Give them, yeah, encouragement through the book of Deuteronomy, like how you follow through and how you walk us through things in life and how you never give up. And thank you, Father, for that. And I just want to pray blessings over every person and hope over them. In your name, Jesus, we pray, amen. Have a blessed week. Bye.